Hi everybody. In this video, we'll go over how to apply sales tax to your Cake Boss orders if your jurisdiction requires you to charge sales tax on certain items. Your sales tax defaults are set on your My Bakery screen. This is where you set your tax rate. Be sure to enter your tax rate as a decimal. For instance, if the tax rate is 8.25%, then it needs to be entered as 0 0.0825. And if you hover over this question mark tooltip, it shows an example. There are three categories of potentially taxable items. There are line items. Line items are most frequently going to be the food that you're selling. Then delivery, for when you charge a delivery fee and rental if you have equipment such as a cake stand that you rent out as part of the order. On the My Bakery screen, you can check all categories that you charge sales tax for. These will be your defaults for when you start an order. So in my state, the only item I'm required to tax is equipment rental. So I will check the tax rental box and then be sure to press save, as you should always do anytime you make changes to your My Bakery preferences. So let's flip over to an order that I've already added some light items to and see how this applies to the order. You can see on this order that the same three checkboxes are present as on the My Bakery screen, delivery, rental, and line items. Because I only had rental checked on My Bakery, rental is the only box checked. You can see that I have 75 servings at $3 each for a total of $225 and tax is not applied to my wedding cake line item. On this order, my customer is renting from me a cake stand and I have $35 in the equipment rental field. You can see that the tax is automatically calculated at $2.88, which is 8.25% of the $35 rental fee. And of course we got the 8.25% because that is the rate that was set on the My Bakery screen. Equipment rental, right now, is the only item having sales tax applied to it because it is the only box that is checked. If for any reason on this order you need to make a change from your default settings, you can check or uncheck the tax boxes as necessary and those changes will only apply to this specific order. Your defaults will stay the same as set on your My Bakery screen. So if, for instance, on this order only, I'm required to charge sales tax on my food and delivery, I would check the box by delivery and also check the box for line items. And now you can see that sales tax of $23.92 is being applied to my entire order. Make changes to your taxable items by checking or unchecking the tax box. You can see if I uncheck the line item tax box, you'll see the tax automatically recalculates. Be sure to save your order before leaving this page so your changes are not lost. When tax time comes, you can quickly find your total revenue, taxable sales, and sales tax collected on the sales tax report under your reports menu. I'll select a start date and an end date that only encompasses the order we were just viewing. And if I view the report narrowed down to just this one order, you'll see the same totals we saw on the order page. Revenue of $292.88, $35 being taxable, which was the equipment rental, and total taxes of $2.88.